Welcome back to another video guys. Greetings from the shores of Lake Manitoba, right behind me. Uh, we're at my buddy Keevan Erickson's house. You've seen Keevan in the Lake Trow tour. You've seen him in some other videos over the years. He works with Huntfish Manitoba. And he just bought a place on the shores of Lake Manitoba. This is his first winter living here. And I was asking him, I'm like, Keevan, what, uh, what's your plan? Are you gonna get like a permanent ice shack so you have something you can just rip out and fish out of whenever you want? And he said, yeah, I'd like a permanent shack. I just don't really have a plan right now. So I talked to the guys at Artspan and they said, we got just the shack for you. So Artspan is sponsoring today's video. They make cottages, they make homes, they make garage packages, but they've broken into the ice fishing market and they make an ice fishing kit. The Summit Ice Fishing Ice House, whatever you want to call it. And this is, this is not your portable flip over pop up. This is a serious, serious ice shack that probably should last Keevan the rest of his life. So anyways, Keevan went to Winkler yesterday where they're based out of, brought the old flat deck trailer, loaded everything up and uh, today is build day. So as you can see, Keevan's clearing out an area here and uh, his dad is gonna be showing up shortly, Mr. Mr. Lauren Erickson. And uh, we're gonna do some building. So that's the plan for the next day and a half. And then once it's complete, we're gonna pull it on Lake Manitoba and catch some fish out of it. So here we go. The man. Hello. How is it outside? Oh, it's windy. Holy smokers. You ready to do some building? Let's go. How is it living on the shores of Lake Manitoba? You've been living here for a couple months now? Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Most people buy it for sunset summer nights, but this is what I bought it for. Frosty mornings and howling winds. Exactly. <laughs> All right, here we have the blueprints. It's eight by 12 feet, eight, four by 12 feet. There's the whole layout. So basically that's the tow towing device. There's the door. There you go, the Summit Ice Shack. What's going on, Keevan? We're doing some caulking. Doing uh, a oh, nice bead along there. Maybe start at the one. Okay. Like we're okay. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Done. Well, a little update for you guys. It's still windy. But luckily we got Mr. Erickson, we got Keevan's dad to help us out now. So uh, he's probably the only one that really knows how to use power tools. All right guys, a little update for you at home. Uh, we've been dealing with hurricane winds. I'm trying to film. Uh, it's, been, it's been very, very windy. Um, we didn't read the instructions properly and, and uh, forgot a couple tools, but we're back on track. We're pretty much done with the floor and now walls are going up. So things are good. I think we're back on track. Had a couple little hiccups, which is completely our fault, but uh, this this will feel good. I think they got some walls up. So anyways, I'm just going to give them directions while Lauren and Keevan do all the heavy lifting. Well, team. We've now added Josh McFadden. Josh McFadden's at Instagram.com. We've got LeFerrier film at HuntFishManitoba.com slash LeFerrier. And we still got Keevan. Can you give us a little update to the viewers, Keevan? Oh, you know, things are really starting to come together. Teamwork is making this dream work. <laughs> well, we uh, we almost got the walls up, kind of, almost. Oh, things. Oh, I know it's getting cold. Anyways, we added some uh, catch covers on the bottom. Show you what those are all about tomorrow. Yeah. Got a little snowy in here, but the goal I think for today would be to finish the walls and maybe get the roof on and then uh, and then finishing touches tomorrow. I think that's a reasonable goal. Josh is going to cook us a, a five course meal. Um, yeah. What's happening? What's for dinner, Josh? We are doing a little bit of a stir fry. The, uh, it's not a stir fry. A we're, make, we're making like a sweet venison dish that's got vegetables. We've got some like really cool, crazy mushrooms in the mix. And then we're gonna toss some udon noodles in this pot. Oh! And uh, do all kinds of crazy stuff. We've got some like crispy chili, we got honey, we got kimchi. Poison, soy sauce, sesame oil, everything. So it's gonna be amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Wow. 
Well, as you saw, the shack is like 90% done. We just got to put the trim on tomorrow and uh, use some spray foam around there, but it was a good day with the crew. And uh, hopefully we'll, we'll catch a fish out of it before this weekend's over. The ice is, I think we saw like about 10 to 12 inches when we checked on Lake Manitoba recently. So it's, it's there. We'll just see if we can pull it with a snowmobile. We might need a truck, but uh, it's, it's pretty good condition. So ain't that right? Ain't that right? Great day for making shacks. How are we doing, Kevin? We're doing all right. Are we gonna finish it tonight? Oh yeah. Guys, we are getting so close, nearing the end of day two, but we're gonna get it done. We just got this last piece of trim on the end, and then we have to just trim and spray foam around, spray foam around some of the windows. But the goal is to get it moving tonight. We'll see if we can pull it with the quad. If not, we might have to wait for a ranger in the morning, but we got the lake right there. So my goal, crossing my fingers, is that we're fishing tomorrow morning in comfort. Apparently the weather's supposed to get nasty and this thing is gonna be so warm. So I was told these panels that they manufacture, you can see that thick foam insulation. I think it was R28 or R28.5 value, which apparently is, Josh, is R28 value good? Oh man, huge, mega. Mega warm. One, two, three. Yeah, baby! She's gone! Well, Kevin, will you take me fishing in the morning now? I'll take you to my secret spot out there. <laughs> it's uh, really deep. It was maybe more work than we had first expected. I, I don't have any building experience, I don't know about you. Nah. Lauren definitely helped us out. Josh and Marcel, not so much. Just kidding, they did help, thank you guys. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go fishing tomorrow. The, the shack is now on Lake Manitoba. <laughs> Anyways, we will see you guys uh, in the morning. We probably will do the trim tonight and uh, we'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. The shack is complete. And it kind of came just in time. It's supposed to get crazy later today, like 50 kilometer gusts, minus 30 something wind chill. So it worked out pretty good. But um, learned a lot about building, learned a lot about trim. We trimmed all the windows and the doors and stuff. And uh, I'm pretty proud of how it came together. How are we all doing? Got the big wheels out today. Well, we made it out here. We know the side by side can pull it. And uh, now we're gonna head to some deeper waters and hopefully find some fish with my guy, Keevan. I think Marcel and Lauren are taking off. Thank you for your help. What do you think? Cloudy oh. with a chance of walleye? Yeah, there is a chance. We're not leaving the shack till we catch a fish. Okay, I'm in. Wow. I'm All in right. That. His lens is so, so dirty. Many good things. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. Welcome to my Welcome! What are we calling it? Casadel Keevan? Casadel Catch and Cook. Casadel <laughs> Casadel Catch and Cook. Guys, what was the dimensions? 12 and a half by 8 and a half? 12 by 8 and a half? 12 by 8. 12 by 8. It's, it's big. We got the heater going. We got the Buddy Flex in the corner. We've got four holes. These are called catch covers. We installed these on top of each hole. We'll, we'll show you what that is right now. I, this is what they recommended for what the arts fan people recommended for formation for the holes. Pretty nice for the two of us sitting here. We've got the two sliding windows. So easy for ventilation, urban Kevin farts. Um, do you want to pop a couple holes? Yeah. So check it out. These catch covers, we got silicone over everything we need to clean up. You have to pop them out. All right guys, so there are some metal sheeting for the inside of the holes yet, which we haven't installed. There's a couple little touches we haven't done, but this is the next piece that is super handy. This is a hole sleeve made by Catch Cover as well. And this thing right here slides on just like that. Then you give it a little kick, just a couple kicks like that. And now that keeps it flush with the bottom. There isn't any draft coming in, keeps your, didn't say giraffes, I said giraffes. Is it giraffe? 
keeps the draft from coming up. And uh, yeah, so I mean, you could have a guy, you could have, you could easily fish four people in here. Oh, super easy. And you could have a whole, whole, uh, the whole family, the whole family, <laughs> you know, spectators in here. You've got uh, the chimney vent up there, which uh, we, we didn't install. We're not sure if we're going to cover that or, you know, put the chimney here because you could put a, a wood burning stove in here, but the buddy flex has been pretty good so far, but yeah, I mean, it is howling outside. It's probably like 40 kilometer winds right now and we're not, we're not feeling it. It's not shaking, not moving. It's pretty solid. Like this is, this is not your little throw it together permi. Uh, obviously took a little bit of work, but uh, this thing is going to last Keevan forever and living on the lake. Like there's different ways you can use a shack like this. You can use it for overnighters, obviously, which is so cool. I think Keevan will probably do some overnighters trying to catch burbot. Great for bringing people out. I mean, you can rent them out. Um, but as well, just for you, it's going to be nice to rip out for a couple hours here and there, probably living, living right there. And even if you just want to use this as a home base and have your portable shack and go fish around. So lots of uses. Keevan will probably use in the summertime too for something. But I'm going to stop talking and telling you all about it because we need to christen this with the first fish. Maybe a Lake Manitoba walleye, maybe a Lake Manitoba perch, maybe a Lake Manitoba bourbon. But anyways. This is what Keevan's gonna be using. The gold tantrum rattle bait. I'm not sure what that actual color is. That's the true grit. That's a great rattle bait rod. And then I'm gonna use the classic, the standard, the jig and a minnow. We got some shiners. That's what I'm fishing with. This is the Royal Flush, the 36 light. I think we both got eight pound braid on. Why are we set up on the spot? This is a feeding flat. <laughs> oh, a 20 million acre feeding flat here. Lake Manitoba, same thing with Lake Winnipeg, there, there's definitely structure and, and things that hold fish, but a lot of these fish just roam around and are cruising, so it's more so getting on active pods of fish. Lake Manitoba is a really strong evening bite as well. Um, I got to take off this afternoon, so I'm hoping to christen it before that. But yeah, like evening bite super strong, you're obviously morning bite. That's a lot of places, but in a shallow lake like Lake Manitoba, I feel like it's even more important. But yeah, anywhere from like three feet to eight feet. I mean, there's deeper you can catch fish, but. Yeah, this part of the lake is exceptionally shallow. Um, some areas to the south get a little deeper, a little quicker, but um, generally shore fishing this time of year until mid-January is, is uh, pretty, pretty hot. Shore fishing? Sh fishing near the shore, I guess that's it. <laughs> So that clip was us walking in the just the inch. Fish, I just got crushed. I just got hammered. Do you want me to get that? Yeah, pull the deucer out. Wow, this is decent, whatever it is. First fish. Oh, nice walleye. That fish just came out of nowhere and crushed it. Oh, it's a really nice walleye. Oh, come on. Come on! Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> yes! Amazing. Oh, <laughs> look at the perky dorsal. Look at this fish. <laughs> so angry. First fish in the Arts Band Shack. I didn't see him for more than a second. Unbelievable. Wow, that is such a nice fish. All right, first fish in the Arts Band going back. Probably like a 23, 24 inch walleye maybe. She gone. What a good fish to christen the shack with. I am so pumped. That is a definitely an above average walleye on Lake Manitoba. It was shallow, it was hungry, it was angry. Like I barely even saw it on the live scope and it was just, it was on. But uh, with that, we are calling it a wrap on our video out of this amazing permanent shack. Shout out to Artsfan, I will link them below. If you guys are looking for a permanent shack, you can get the whole kit, put it together and you can be fishing in luxury. Shout out to Keevan and fam and friends for helping us build. And uh, yeah, I think next time we see this shack, it's gonna be a little more accessorized, maybe a flat screen on the wall, uh, a little cooking area. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and we will catch you on the ice very, very soon.